This is the Key Kron K12. So any good? How's it sound? Well, as you probably aren't aware, I'm a big fanboy of Keychron keyboards. So I'm gonna have to rate this one on a scale of one to 10, maybe a 12. Actually, no, not really. Let's get into it. This keyboard actually feels and sounds a little strange, a little weird out of all the keyboards I've tried. So we will do a sound test in a second and I'm actually gonna throw on some glorious pandas to compare with the stock Gateron Brown. So this is completely stock, zero mods. I have had it for like six months, but I've only used it in like a handful of times, just out of the box, what this is. Speaking of boxing, the world's most boring unboxing video. This is the box it came in, and quite frankly, not a lot to see. It did come with a USB-C, USB cord, whatever that is. Foam, it's always well packaged. Keychron does a good job. Instruction manual, that's pretty much it. Whatever, 60% layout, 61 keys. It's very high profile compared to a lot of mechanical keyboards. Even this one, the KBD, which is uh, also high profile. This one's even bigger. K2 from Keychron, same sort of thing. High profile. The USB outlet is on the left side of the keyboard, which drives me insane. It's, they should just be required to put them on the back, but alas, Bluetooth or wired. You can connect up to three devices. Mac and Windows settings, which will swap around the command control configuration. Also, it did come with a few extra keycaps. So if you are on Windows, you don't have to do the command thing. You just swap it on over. Works really great out of the box for Mac and PC. This is available in hot swap and non hot swap versions. It's available in white only backlighting versus full RGB. I usually say RBG and get it wrong. I can't remember which way it goes. RGB, aluminum case. It does have feet that just pop out right there. It feels really sturdy, I might add. I'm holding this right here. This is a good keyboard for travel. 60%, it is not low profile for sure, but I mean, this is a solid keyboard. Keychron does really good job with their aluminum frames. You cannot break this thing. Well, I'm sure you can actually, but it doesn't feel fragile at all. It's nice and heavy and solid. The feet snap really good. Doesn't feel like it's about to come apart at all. I really approve of that. And also I just had to check at the moment available on Amazon, finally, it took months to do that, ranging from 80 bucks to about a hundred bucks. Again, if you want hot swappable and full RGB, it's gonna cost a little bit more like 89 or 90 something. But if you don't need the hot swappable, it's like, you can get it for like 80 bucks. As I get to the sound test, let's talk about why I think this keyboard is a little weird. Feel and sound. First of all, the space bar is really loud. Compared to the rest of the keys. I wouldn't be that mad if all the keys were like equal. In fact, most keyboards are. I feel like this is the KBD. I mean, the space bar is always going to sound a little bit different, but not like, you know, 300% different. This is a loud blue switch Keychron K2. Listen as I type on this one. Don't at me, my fingers are cold right now. But you see what I mean? These are like nice and crunchy softer than a normal tactile switch and the spacebar, man. By the way, I don't actually think it's rattly. Like the stabilizers feel okay. All the switches, there's not a lot of wobble. I mean, films would help a little bit with everything, but it, it's not bad out of the box. It just like sounds so nice and crunchy, a little bit muted and soft up here. But when you get to that space bar, like I'm not pressing it any harder. It seems, it seems wrong for some reason. Now, let me throw on these glorious panda switches and see if that makes a bit of difference. Oh, uh, quick note, turn off a light there. The backlight looks really good. The colors are nice and crisp. They are easy enough to change. Function backspace will give you lots of different, you know, options to play around with, design. It looks great. It works great. It's, it's uh, you know, great. Dance party, bro. <laughs> Woo, okay, panda time. Get some. What up? 
What up? Last thing, it feels kind of like it sounds. This is a bad boy. It feels like it travels like twice as far as the other little switches up here, which are nice and soft and crunchy. Actually a little bit softer than normal keyboards. This is like Glorious Pandas on there too. It should be like a little bit clickier and clackier than that. I feel like I'm typing a Brahms symphony or something. But I get it's personal preference. If you like the way that sounds, this is a great keyboard. Bluetooth is flawless. Great controls, backlight looks great, travel friendly. I actually like the keycaps a lot that come with these Keychron keyboards. They feel nice, they're PPT, I believe. They feel nice and smooth. It's a great, fantastic, well-built keyboard. If you like that sound, it's perfect. Uh, I will leave a link to this other bad boy, the Keychron K7, look how thin that is. Low profile mechanical switches. Yes, please. I will leave a link to this video. You can go check that out if you want. And other than that, drop me a comment, hashtag like, comment, subscribe, or whatever the fancy YouTubers are saying these days. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Adios. This is the one I will give a perfect 12 out of 10, not the K12.